and today is a good day for a great day. I'm sharing our kitchen reveal today and we absolutely love our kitchen. We love the layout and we love the space. We just needed a little update. And if you are following me on Instagram and Facebook at Be My Guest with Denise, you may have seen where I took you through the store and shared my ultimate shopping experience. Floor and Decor has top quality products at rock bottom prices. And as you can see, they have a wide variety of in-stock products and free design services to all shoppers. They were so helpful bringing my vision to life. We hired contractors to do our tile work and cabinets, not only to get the project done faster, but I really wanted a professional look and we achieved that smooth, luxurious finish on our cabinet doors using Pro Classic Interior Acrylic Latex Paint. It's a self-leveling paint. When it's applied, it levels over the surface to create an even finish and you can call or visit the store for more details. Our previous tile was in great shape, but the whole purpose of painting my cabinets was to lighten and brighten up the space so the brown tile had to go. I love the idea of having some sort of accent tile above the cooktop. It's pretty much the first thing everyone sees when they enter my kitchen, and my installer Frank is the absolute best. He made sure I was pleased with every move he made. We had so much fun with this project. We worked on the layout for the tile over the cooktop before installing this beautiful Carrera subway tile, which reminds me to tell you guys to communicate with your contractor or installer every step of the way so that everyone's on the right page. Initially, I chosen this herringbone marble mosaic and I love it, but I needed something with a little more pop to complement my existing black granite countertops because that was stained. I call this effortless elegance. It's sophisticated yet simple. This design of gray vein subway and accent tile was the elegance I was expecting from white marble. We are beyond thrilled of how our kitchen came out. It's light, bright, fresh, and airy, and it feels twice as big. It will truly stand the test of time, always remaining in style. Believe it or not, since the change, I'm currently looking for new pendant lighting over our island, and I'm changing out the flooring as well, so be sure to follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on my updates. Choosing tile and painting the cabinets was only half the fun. We added these beautiful drum poles onto the drawers and doors. They are elegant and classy and quite large. They are five inches long and to make the job go faster, we used this hardware jig that you can get from your local hardware store for about $25. It is so worth it because we had a total of 48 drawer poles to put on. I did some rearranging in some of the drawers and I got rid of the coffee station that was on this wall. It was just a collection of clutter that needed weekly dusting and I placed the coffee station where it was originally. And I placed a drawer organizer that I got from Ikea to organize items that we use often. Coffee filters, K-cups, tea bags, and quick oatmeal for when we're in a rush. You guys may have seen my coffee setup already. It's minimal yet fancy, but very easy to keep up and very practical. And you may remember me doing this DIY on these jars. They're actually used for bathroom storage and I repurposed them using them for my coffee and sugar storage. And I'm using a salt shaker to store cinnamon inside. The marble tray is just a piece of floor tile that you can also get from Floor and & Decor and I'm using it as a tray. I added a few new accessories like these two marble cutting boards leaning against the backsplash and I use them all the time. As well as my measuring spoons, I had them for years and my McKinsey Child's butter dish that was gifted. I kept my McKinsey Child tea kettle and you've seen me haul the faux utensil holder. The drawer near our cooktop, I'm using it to house our placemat, small dinner napkins, salt cellar, and our wine opener, along with the kitchen towel. You guys know I love kitchen towels because they are big and absorbent, and I love changing them out for the seasons, and our guests will appreciate it. I purposely have them close to our kitchen table just to grab and go. My motto has always been a clean kitchen is a luxurious kitchen and I kept my decor very simple. Why cover up all of this beautiful marble tile with clutter and items that I just don't use on a daily? You guys have seen my takeout during my other kitchen tour video and I will link that down below if you'd like to see more organization. I came across this bash in a box at Publix. Everything you need for a bash in a box is inside this box. The square plates are the perfect fit. It takes up less space and it even comes with pocket napkins with utensils. Chick-fil-A sauce is always a must-have to have on hand. Stores, toothpicks, and foil and baggies to wrap up leftovers. 
We've updated our kitchen bar stools and they are the exact match that goes with our kitchen table, tying in the whole look together. And we've also updated our kitchen window coverings from blinds to plantation shutters and we are really enjoying them to the fullest, you guys. Our walls got a simple coat of creamy white paint as well with the new window coverings, letting in all the natural sunlight and these simple changes that really transformed our space. And I hope you guys have enjoyed our kitchen makeover tour and I want to thank you all for watching.